have uh, quick earnings calls to go over as well. Apple India is on the radar. The company's come up with a steady quarter. Uh, revenue growth look, looks quite strong. There's margin expansion as well. And we have uh, Anuj Khanna, uh, Sohum, founder, chairman, and CEO at Apple India joining in. Anuj, great to have you on. I just want to start by understanding the revenue growth number. Uh, I think you've done closer to 520 odd crores at the top line level, which is about a 28% growth. Now, is this uh, organic plus the, the recent acquisitions? Is it all organic? So we can do a like-to-like -like, uh, you know, comparison because I think organic growth in Q4 was 18%. Everything put together was around 42%. So could you just break the number up for us? Hi, good morning. Well, thanks for having me on your show this morning. Uh, yes, our revenue growth has been consistently robust. This quarter, the organic growth was over 20% on a consolidated basis. And yes, together with the acquisition, if you look at it, it's almost 28%. But I think what's very important is to look at how the bottom line performance of the company has been. If you look at, uh, you know, the consistent growth in our EBITDA, uh, delivering over 20% EBITDA and this, you know, substantial growth even in profit before tax, I mean, almost 106 crores. This is the first time that our EBITDA as well as our profit before tax has been over 100 crores. So there is, there is a lot of strong momentum in the performance of our company, both on the top line growth as well as on the bottom line growth. I know just to complete the top line point, we'll come to margins in a bit in just a bit, but steady state basis, because you've recently done a lot of acquisitions, steady state top line growth on a CAGR basis, let's say the next one to two years, uh, do you think you can uh, do better than 20%, which is what you've spoken of in the past, but what should investors work with? See, the best way to look at the future is to take, you know, lessons from the past. Now, it's been five years since we completed our IPO in August uh, 2019 to now, and we have grown our revenue substantially in this time. I mean, more than six times or five to six times in terms of top line growth, profitability growth. So if you look at our past track record, it clearly shows that we've exceeded all pre-IPO expectations of our stakeholders. And even forward five years, my outlook on our industry is very strong. I think there is enough basis to say that Apple should be modeled at 20% CAGR growth for the next several years. Uh, because we are in a high growth industry. I mean, we are in emerging markets like India, global emerging markets, even in developed markets, our focus on emerging verticals, gaming and other verticals is actually uh, providing us the foundations for consistent, long term, sustainable, high growth. And uh, the outlook is very optimistic and it's backed by the track record of the last five years. Anuj, so, uh, so, so for F525, uh, can we expect uh, like a 25% uh, top line growth? Uh, and uh, what about margins? Should we expect uh, close to 18% full year? We don't, we don't provide short term guidances, but what I can tell you is that as a CAGR basis forward many years to come, modeling our company at a 20% top line growth and you know margin expansion leading to from a bottom line perspective achieving you know 20 to 25% uh, growth on year on year basis from a bottom line profit perspective should be should be quite uh, very much on the cards yeah okay hi anuj uh, you know i take that point from the time of listing you all came in that niche space and in fact it's been a multi multi bagger so kudos to you as well as uh, you know, the management on that front. But I want to get back to the margin uh, parameter because I recall between 2019 and 2021, you had margins, I think, of closer to 25%. Then you did a lot of acquisitions with diluted margins a little bit. How soon before we get to the 25% margin mark yet again? Or are you satisfied in the early 20s? I think looking for quality revenue, which is, you know, delivering profitability and cash flow is a fundamental DNA of our company. And therefore, even the acquired companies, the consistent effort has been to integrate, you know, we have, in fact, in this quarter, achieved full consolidation, full integration as a single cash generating unit. All the leadership team of 20 CEOs and VPs are, you know, providing hands-on leadership. So growing margin is a single-minded focus of the organization, and we are very, very clear that our margin or bottom line growth will exceed top line growth. So when I say model our company at 20% top line growth, I'm also in the same breath saying model our company at 20 to 25% bottom line growth, which means we will see margin expansion. Now, uh, typically we will take a three years view to our business, three to five years plan for our business, and we should get there and we are consistently working to get there.
when will we get there exactly you know i will hold this back let the numbers talk Okay, Anuj, for the time being, the numbers are talking. The street is satisfied with what you have been delivering. The next five years as well will be crucial. Appreciate you joining in this morning and giving us a gist about what went on in the past quarter and how you see the company shaping up going ahead.